टुडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ टॉपिक दैट यू गाइस हैव बीन वेटिंग फॉर सो लॉन्ग एंड व्हाई यू हैव बीन वेटिंग फॉर इट फॉर सो लॉन्ग बिकॉज इट्स अ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन ऑर्डर टू बी अ सेल्स फोर्स डेवलपर आई एम टेलिंग इट टू यू इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इवन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू जस्ट क्रैक अ सर्टिफिकेशन और यू वॉन्ट टू क्रैक एन इंटरव्यू और you uh, want to be a good sales force developer you need to be a master of the topic apex triggers but as easy as it sounds it is equally easy to understand the apex triggers topic or to actually master the apex triggers topic if you know the basics well and this is exactly what we'll be focusing on while learning apex triggers let's begin so first of all let's understand what exactly an apex trigger is Apex trigger is a stored procedure which gets executed whenever there is a, an operation that happens to the Salesforce records or whenever there is some change that occurs onto the Salesforce record. What I mean by that is whenever you are inserting a new record or you are updating an existing record or you are deleting a record or you are undeleting a record, no matter what you are doing, if you want a code to get executed uh, whenever a particular change happens in a particular record of a particular object. all what you need to do is write down an apex trigger to sum it all up the definition of apex trigger is an apex code which gets executed whenever changes occur to the salesforce record and these changes can be insert update upsort merge delete undelete whatever let me help you understand this with the help of an example imagine you want a code to be executed whenever a new account record gets inserted so in that case you'll write down an apex trigger on the account object so that's how it works when talking about triggers let me tell you one more thing the trigger can be executed before a database operation gets executed as well as after a database operation gets executed what i mean by that is let's say you want some code to get executed before a record gets inserted into the database so you can write down a before trigger if you want a code to be executed after the database operation gets executed so you'll write down an after trigger so for example let's say uh, there is an account record which gets inserted into the database and before uh, inserting that record into the database we want a fields value to be updated according to the value of uh, other fields which the user has entered into it so in that case we'll write down a before trigger but if you want to create a contact record associated with this particular account automatically then in that case we'll have to write down an after trigger which will get executed after the database operation which is actually insertion of that account record and after the database operation gets executed uh, the after trigger will get executed and this after trigger will create a contact record which will be associated to this account which we just inserted and that's it that's how the trigger works i know it might sound confusing but i have got a flow chart with the help of which you'll be able to understand it in a better way or in an easier way let's go through that so here it goes so the number one thing which initiates yeah i mean triggers are nothing without a database operation you have to first understand that whenever a record gets inserted updated deleted undeleted whatever a record uh, getting into the database or updating into the database will initiate a database operation and whenever a database operation will get initiated the triggers which are created on that particular object will get executed so the number one thing that will happen uh, as soon as the database operation initiates is it will execute the before trigger because the before trigger executes before the database operation happens right so it will execute the before trigger and after executing the before trigger uh, successfully Uh, the database operation gets executed like in the in the example i said you that uh, after the execution of the before trigger the record will get inserted into the database if the record insertion is what has initiated uh, the trigger right and after the database operation executes uh, what will happen is uh, like if if the database operation happens successfully without any problem then it will go to the after trigger and execute that particular code so here it is uh, it will execute the after trigger and after executing the after trigger uh, if everything goes well in the after trigger as well the database operation gets committed into the database and whatever updates or changes or things uh, the triggers have done uh, along this process will also get committed into the database if there is a database operation that also got initiated with the triggers let's revise it once again whenever a database operation happens that means whenever a change occurs to the salesforce records the trigger gets executed 
and uh, the first thing that will happen is it will execute the before trigger and after execution after successful execution of the before trigger it will go on and execute the database operation which actually initiated the before trigger over here and after the uh, database execution uh, yeah database operations execution the after trigger will get executed and after the successful uh, completion of the uh, execution of after trigger the database operation will get committed into the database this is how it all goes i hope that makes you understand what exactly apex triggers are and how uh, before trigger and after trigger are different with, uh, from each other and how it can actually help you uh, implement a lot of uh, solutions to a lot of problems that you will be facing as a salesforce developer